seen last week remains of the child found just a few blocks away. Investigators will be searching in the woods again this morning after more bones were found. Local 6 morning news reporter Tiffany Tiff is live on the scene on Suburban Drive. Tiffany, um, this is the fifth day that this area has been shut down and we don't expect it to open up anytime soon because they've got to search for more evidence now. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. And I don't even think investigators thought that they would be here this long. We were hearing on Friday that they were planning on wrapping up then, but ever since then, they have found more evidence like these bones here at this scene behind me. Now, forensic teams have uncovered more bones, and as investigators come for the clues, the Anthonys are having to rely on their faith to get them through. A makeshift memorial of children's toys sits at the edge of the crime scene, a block away from forensics team's work through the night, inspecting the dirt for more human remains just off the side of Suburban Road, less than a half mile from the Anthony home. It's a bad situation all the way around. They're realistic about the probability that it's Kaylee, but, but they pray that it's not. Over the past six months, George and Cindy Anthony have been fighting the battle of their lives, living under a microscope, desperately searching for their only granddaughter and remaining optimistic despite the fact that their daughter is charged with first-degree murder. But now they've been dealt the hardest blow yet. They continue to be optimistic, and they will, until there's a positive identification. They're not going to give up hope. None of us are. Their nerves are starting to fray, and so too is the string of hope that their granddaughter, Kaylee, is still alive. Brad Conway, the Anthony's new attorney, says George and Cindy remain hopeful, holding out against the possible reality that the small skeleton found is little Kaylee. They would like privacy. Uh, they'd like the public to understand what they're going through and, um, and to be left alone. And what you're looking at right now is a live picture of the Anthony home. Again, this is the first night that the Anthonys have spent in their home since returning from California and finding out this news that bones of a child's body were found nearby. Now, at the scene, if you can come back out here, you can see that um, neighbors and, and strangers and even friends have set up this makeshift memorial for Kaylee. There's stuffed animals, there's bouquets of flowers, there's even letters for little Kaylee Marie. So as you can see... Um, um, Kaylee's disappearance has obviously not only touched the Anthony family, but the community as well. For now, reporting live, I'm Tiffany Tift, Local 6 Morning News. All right, thanks, Tiffany. The, er, the Anthony's new attorney, Brad Conway, will also serve as their spokesperson. That's because this weekend, Michelle Bart, who you've seen speaking on their behalf very often, announced she's stepping down. Bart tells Local 6 she thinks it's more appropriate that the family attorney speak on their behalf now. For me, this has been very personal and very emotional very emotional and I am not whatsoever leaving the Anthony's side. Bart says she will stay in Orlando and help the Anthony's with anything they need. She says they've become like a second family to her in the last few months. And again, we'll have crews.